All right, so let's talk about the blood parrot, AKA derp fish. They're super cool. I keep them in my 800 gallon aquarium. Why? They seem like a weird thing for someone to keep, especially when I have access to anything. Well, they've got some behaviors that we like, and that is the fact that they get larger. You know, they can get pretty big. There's the King Kong parrots, that kind of stuff. I just keep normal ones, so kind of like a bigger softball size, if you will. Uh, lots of color, which is great, but they've got this small mouth. It's a deformed mouth, actually, and they like have a, you know, parrot-like beak structure almost to it, and it makes it so they can't really eat other fish, which is good. So they've got that aggressive personality. They'll be up at the glass like a cichlid would, but they don't really chase down fish. Now, they can still bully each other and bully other fish. So they'll definitely, like, bully them and make them not want to eat, but they don't really physically harm other fish, which is good. So, like, I keep them with clown loaches, um, a boo puffer, giraffe cat, clouded archers, all these cool fish, but I get that color and kind of the aggressiveness of like a, a Midas or a red devil, but without the damage portion of it. And they swim all mid levels of the tank and they're super easy to keep. Not so cheap, you know, they're probably about 15 bucks locally for you, maybe as high as 20. Uh, when you get them, they could be really small and have black markings all over them. That's gonna fade as they get bigger. Uh, some of the things you need to know is food. That's one of the hardest things people struggle with because that mouth doesn't really open or close. They have to like kind of lighten food up and just like swim into it. So lots of small pellets. We use the omnivore pellet that we sell, but any like baby size pellet, like not crushed up food, but just a very small pellet. Like Hikari has a baby size pellet, works wonders. If you really have to go with mini, but your blood parrots would already be pretty big at that point. There's lots of blood parrot foods to enhance the red color, but typically just good foods will do that. Um, they can eat blood worms a little bit, but it's really hard. They usually get out-competed because they got to like line themselves up. I find they do best on a floating pellet. That's just me. So I feed lots of floating pellets. They can get them at the water surface really easy by just, um, you know, kind of coming up underneath them and getting them in their mouth. And then I keep them in groups personally. I keep, uh, you know, a group of about 10 at this point, but you can keep one solo in a 29 or like three in a 55. And then, you know, you can go to a 75 and get maybe five or six and kind of, they're almost like goldfish and carry requirements where it's like one per 20 to 30 gallons. And that's kind of the same way with blood parrots too. So you can kind of extrapolate that of how many I should I get? I wouldn't keep just two. It's likely the one will dominate the other one. So one or three or more. As far as temperature, pretty wide variety, kind of 72 to 82 pH, 6, 8 to 8. Like they're pretty tolerant, hardness, all that kind of stuff. If you just keep in mind that they need some tank space and that they're going to need uh, specialized food, they're actually really easy to take care of. They'll lay eggs and that kind of stuff, but typically males are sterile because of the hybridation that's been going on. And so, yeah, easy fish to get a hold of. Most pet smarts, pet co's, chain stores will have it. Uh, we special order them. We don't keep them in stock all the time. They're really an easy fish for people to fall in love with, but not have the right home for. Uh, I keep them in planted tanks as well. They don't really dig a whole lot and they don't have a big enough mouth to destroy plants. So a lot of good things going for them. Great for your community tank. I hope you try them out. I realize that everyone's on the hybrid train, but uh, they do fit a very specific tank and that is kind of planet tanks with community fish and you've got a bigger tank and you want something nice big and bold in that mid-level blood parrots are a great choice